Meanwhile, our friends from Buffalo Mountain Grill in our kitchen with an old fashioned recipe, a treat from way back when. A treat from Candy way back. with potatoes? Yes. I've never it's... had this. Really? Uh huh. Yeah. It's good old fashioned okay. potato candy, Beth. Okay. <laughs> Apparently, Russell has. I'll be honest with you, I haven't had it either. Uh, Foxy said he hadn't had it either, so okay. you guys are going to learn something new today. Pam, well, yeah, tell us what it is and how we, how we make it. Super simple. Anytime you guys do mashed potatoes at the house, set you aside about a half a cup of mashed potatoes. Okay. Just your um, favorite mashed potato recipe? D uh, okay. You'll just sit you aside uh, about a half a cup, try to keep them plain. Okay. Um, you'll add a half of stick of butter. Okay. And you'll get it to this consistency. After that, it's pretty much a guess. I'm going to let Russell do this. Okay. Um, we got a half a cup of mashed potatoes here. The rest is just basically powdered sugar. All right. And you're just you, throwing this in you're there? Wanting, yep. You're going to start mashing that up. Is that in. what we're doing? Just mashing, mashing, mashing them up in there is what we're doing. He's a mash up. As you're mashing these, you're going to notice something happening here. The consistency is becoming thicker. No, it's going to. That ain't or it. it's Try becoming again. liquidy, actually. <laughs> Wow. Yeah, there you go. I, was, I was trying to be smart. And wow, with powdered sugar. That is it, interesting. It will turn it into a liquid to begin with. You're going to continue adding cups of powdered sugar at a time. You'll get probably about six to seven until you get it to your desired consistency. That's just the chemistry, I guess, yes. with the carbohydrates. Yep. And, oh, and that's interesting. basically all there is to it. We would wow. continue on with this, but nobody has powdered sugar on them at this okay. point. Yeah. All right. So we've done <laughs> All right, well. so you get this, and, and then... And you'll just keep going until you end up with a dough ball. Okay. okay. And that's all that is. You would put this in the refrigerator for about an hour, so you can roll it out um, after it has cooled. You'll roll it into a disc. Divide your dough. This is one that's already been divided. Okay. Mm -hmm. Roll it out. Do your peanut butter. Roll it into little pinwheels. And that's all. And that's there you it. go. And that's it's it. like little sushi. It looks like yeah. sushi. <laughs> they, 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 anything like sushi, no, I promise not, you. No, it, it, the little things look like sushi. But what's neat is uh, you're going to be selling this at the farmer's market in, 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 in Oak, Oak Ridge. Ridge. It's at St. Mary's. Um, the 7th and 8th grade class are doing a capital trip to Washington and so they're all piling up together and going to come and work at the farmer's market. Oh, to try to raise some money. Raise yeah. some oh, that's money. cool. So we're all excited. I hope everybody comes out and supports them. Yeah. Um, one great. other thing with the candy, if you get it to this point, you can actually roll it into balls, dip it into chocolate, do it with coconut. Oh, you don't have yum. to do peanut butter if okay. other people have issues. Yeah. Now, is this so. a recipe you made growing up? Is it a family recipe? My grandmother made it and my mother made it and honestly I hadn't done it in so long. I did it the other night and it was interesting. It was all over my kitchen. Yeah, <laughs> but it's, it's really. fun. It's super it's easy and the kids can do it. Okay. Exactly. Yeah. I do this at my house this no weekend. Heat. Awesome. Brings back good memories though, doesn't uh -huh. it? Oh yeah, and it's delicious. Well, that is good. All right, but tell us, tell folks where you're located. We're located at the Buffalo Mountain Grill in Oak Ridge. Okay. And then come out Saturday at St. Mary's. Saturday, okay. St. Mary's. Farmers That's going to be great. Yeah. Wonderful.